Happy New Year, everyone. First order of business for 2024. The best MacBook Air apps for your MacBook, particularly if you have an Apple Silicon or some work on Intel, by the way, but it's more preferable for Apple Silicon. So subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Now, the first is an app called Dropover. Now, if you are someone that has trouble organizing your files and moving a bunch of files or folders inside a window to another different destination at a time, then this app is for you. Basically how it works is you signal to the app and the app brings up a little pocket dimension where you get to place your folders or files or whatever you want to drop temporarily in that pocket dimension and then drag that whole pocket with every single thing you have put into it to the destination when you finally open that window so you don't really have to you know get frustrated when you suffer to hold command and click and you know selecting a couple of but a bunch of stuff and then accidentally clicking a different key and everything on selecting yeah so if you have trouble moving numerous files that's for you and it's a paid app on the app store with a 14 day free trial the next app is called amphetamine now Many of you have had this scenario where once in a while your MacBook just for some reason decides to keep going to sleep and it's very frustrating especially when you're watching a movie or a video on YouTube or even a video or movie on one of your media players that for some reason the Mac OS doesn't just take seriously and sees it as a regular app. You know, screen dimming, frustrating, you have to reach out and keep touching your trackpad left and right. And also, it's very good when you are downloading an app. You know, some websites, when you download, or some browsers, if your screen accidentally goes off, it can, you know, alter the download process. Like, for instance, when you download the wallpaper from settings, one of those new Mac OS wallpapers, when your screen goes off, most times it cancels, and you just see the download button over again, and that's quite frustrating. And also, if you are someone that has external displays, and you don't want those displays to go up, this app is for you. Also, if you, you know, watch a forex chart, you know, people need to keep watching their forex charts without the screen going off and you don't want to, you know, keep going over to your Mac to keep touching it to keep it awake. Yeah. And it's something you can easily control. Yeah. So the app's called Amphetamine. It's a free to use app. It's also on the App Store and basically it keeps your MacBook on for as long as you give it the Amphetamine drug. Literally through clicks, but you get the point. The next is Grammarly. Grammarly is an app that makes sure no one can fault your grammar or typing, spelling, you know, and also your syntax and it works with your entire system, like through the entirety of macOS and also your desktop and your browsers. Yeah, there is a Chrome extension or an extension in, you know, Firefox or Arc browser, whichever Chromium browser you use or non-Chromium browser. And also it works in a variety of apps like, you know, we are coding. We are writing an email, we are working on a Word document or a spreadsheet or a presentation, or even when you are coding an application on Visual Studio Code. And it even works perfectly when you are replying comments on Twitter, for instance, so you don't get to embarrass yourself with your grammar. Normally, Grammarly is a free to use app, but there is a paid version for $12 monthly, and it offers a couple of features. For instance, you can like suggest full sentence rewrites yeah now might say useful when you're writing an application or you know filling your medical license exam or whatever also there's an app called rectangle pro that's number four rectangle pro makes it very easy for you to resize all the windows on your mac os without breaking a sweat all you have to do is set your preferred command or your preferred shortcut on the app and the app it's possible to get it for free yeah, just search for the rectangle app for your Mac on your browser. It's not on the App Store. So when you do that, you can hold Control Option. I use UI JK as you can see, and it easily snaps my window to either the right, the left, the center, or the right, but half, the left, but half, you know, stuff like that. So Windows has this inbuilt or Mac dozens. Yeah, so it helps you manage your windows more effectively. Now the fifth app is WinZip. The default, you know, archive editor on your macOS is not good for RER files, only zip files. So WinZip is going to come in very handy the one day you need to use 
an RAR or you know any other compression file system yeah apart from zip so the app is a paid to use app but there is a free trial that lasts for quite a while and it's worth buying to be honest now the next app is called clean my mac x this app basically is the best yeah i mean this is my favorite app of all of them basically what it does is like it makes your life easy it makes you you know wonder why didn't i get the mac all this time what have i been doing with windows yeah something like that so what it does is that it tells you everything that goes in your mac from connected devices to connected devices low power so whatever is taking too much space so even when you need to clear out your trash so when your network is slow or fast it even shows your network speed you can run a test for that it even shows you destination of apps that take those anonymous apps that take a lot of space but you can't even seem to find them that app makes it easy with a few fingers now you can easily trace the app and delete it or the file whatever it is and it does antivirus protection for your macbook also basically this app basically deserves an entire video of me talking about it well, that's another day. but trust me this is an app you want to have in your macbook that's another of the places called bartender now in mac as one of the most popular and the most dynamic parts of it that is unique to every single user is the menu bar and you know a lot of apps take advantage of the menu bar which means they begin to litter the menu bar and leave a lot of icons and you know make it untidy and it even takes away space for actual important icons to be so bartender is like the bartender literally it helps to tend your menu bar tend bartender yeah ring a bell anyways so what it does is that it helps give you the power to choose icons that don't need to always be shown for instance i use google drive but i know my google drive is running i don't need to see the icon there I literally have no use going over to click the icon for any reason so i hate it in the bartender yeah and you can also set the icons that you want to show when you click a certain shortcut in my case i use the three dots but you might use any shortcuts you like and the app is also not completely free it comes with a free trial though but it is not free you know you can't really blame them for what it does yeah so apparently these are all the apps that i consider the seven best apps for 2024 that i feel you should definitely install your mac as the year begins for a smoother mac os experience yeah if you have any suggestions or you know thoughts you can get across to me in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye howdy out